Welcome back to another video. We're going to take a look at swept volume. So this is underneath demo optimizer. As we can see over here, I have a mechanism for which I have this replay defined. Therefore, if I will check the swept volume, we're going to see that the elements will be added. In this case, part one will not be added since that is the fixed part. And over here, we can do a preview. But before I will hit the preview button, I will just want to make this for this part over here. And afterwards, if I will hit the preview button, we're going to see how that preview lo will look. Now, keep in mind that over here, we're going to have the part a little bit rotated. So we see the orientation of the part. We see the bottom profile over here will be the one over here. Therefore, the correct orientation of the model will be like this. And over here within the swept volume, if you are familiar with um, other features in Katia or maybe Delmia, you know that you can see that movement. So this is also available for um, the mannequin, but also for Delmia for various industrial robots. So we can see that um, that full volume where the object will be moved within the animation. We can save this. Again, the file format will be triangulated uh, polygonal mesh, so CGR, WRL, model, and STL file format. If I will add over here the silhouette as well, if I will have that preview, I will remove that filter position. We're going to see that in this case, the result will be, will be similar over here. Regarding this, it's important to have this defined for a mechanism, so to have that um, replay setup over here. So I can play that, as we can see over here, I can make it either go back and forth or continuous over here. And since I have this added over here, I just need to add the sub volume, and this will be automatically selected, as we can see, along with the parts. I have another mechanism over here, so this is a gripper. And we see that um, this is already constrained, so we have a degree of freedom of zero, so we can simulate this. If I will jump within um, the workbench, so in this case, I will go to start, we're going to go to digital mockup, and I will jump to demo kinematics. And over here, if I will go and have this simulated for the mechanism, we see I can simulate a gripper. In this case, not all the components are joined together. So we see that only the gears will be will be connected over here, but we still have that degree of freedom zero, but we can do that swapped volume of those um, elements over here. Mainly because we don't have that replay set over here. So if I will jump with this to digital mockup, to demo optimizer for the swept volume. If I will click on swept volume, we're going to have an information warning. And we see that this command requires an object to sweep, a track, a replay, or a mechanism. So we have a mechanism over here, but we actually need that a replay uh, defined, a replay defined. Just like we have it over here. So we have the mechanism, we have the simulation, but we also need that in order to process a swept volume. Now, for the last part of this video, I will process the swept volume of this part. So for all those six products that, uh, that will be moved, if I'm going to hit preview, you're going to see that the swept volume look like this. Again, keep in mind that the object over here is rotated and the actual orientation of the model will be like this. So we see how this mechanism will define that shape over here. Again, this will be a triangulated mesh. But if I will activate this and um, I will move it like this, you're going to see that actually we're going to have that volume defined over here that we previously saw over there. Okay, so I hope you find this video useful. I'll position a similar video on the left side and a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.